Hey everyone, this is Shana, and I am here with a really quick planner um, lineup update or whatever, what I'm planning on using right now, um, or what I am using right now, rather. I have other planners and journals that I'm thinking about incorporating in, but for this very moment, this is what I'm using. Um, I have three of them here. I'm just going to go through each one of them briefly. I'm going to go ahead and start with this standard size traveler's company notebook. This is the have a nice trip one that came in like a package with other things, including this charm um, and another charm and a bunch of like die cuts and stuff. So it came with a bunch of stuff, including this insert here. Um, what I have in here right now, this is my first traveler's company notebook and I don't use standard size very often in fact I think I've only really used standard size twice once was when I was trying it the very first time and the second time was for my planner pl planner piece series that I did I had a like $20 Amazon standard size notebook that worked really well these inserts here these just generic inserts are actually from that notebook but what this is gonna be and I've, I've only used this one insert so far and I actually had to cut some pages out in the beginning is for travel journaling and memory keeping so any trips that we take I'm basically tra training myself to keep all the paper papers from it and stuff that way I can add them in here and kind of write about them so I'm just gonna go through this briefly I just added some stuff here for 2022 because this is for last year at the top of the page I wrote in what I want that page to be about in pencil so I can erase it so like this one is about my son's birthday last year we went to Chef Mickey's together so I cut out this postcard that you get um, another thing here is we went on a cruise in um, May we went on to Disney Cruise Line cruise so here's our stateroom number and in here was information about um, an onboard credit somebody had given us and like the luggage tag you get when you disembark the ship my husband and my son did the midship detective agency game um, like scavenger hunt so that is from that this is actually from the envelopes that they give you in the drawer of your room in like the desk area of your room this I cut out from the flap of the envelope and I actually use the rest of the envelope later um, I'm not gonna go through all of this but like my son ended up having to go to the medical center so this is from that um, one of the kids menus let's see here's the envelope that I use the rest of the envelope which has these cards that we were given um, from a cast member on one of the friendship boats um, so this is talking about our trip in September that we went with my in-laws to Disney this is about the sugary gal shop conference um, somebody gave us a Starbucks gift card this was the raffle ticket we got I mean it's just random stuff um, like here we went to Minnesota in December my son and I I got caribou every single day because it is my absolute favorite so I put the <laughs> actual sleeve in here um, yeah all all kinds of stuff um, I even put in like we went to my son and I went to the Halloween party at Disney Mickey's not so scary Halloween party and so I put that stuff in here so it's just stuff like that even random stuff like these are from pop figures that I cut the boxes out and put them in here instead and I'm just gonna I don't know journal about them I guess um, so yeah that's basically what this is so I, I spent last night adding all this stuff in and then I'm gonna fill up my fountain pens because I actually haven't used my fountain pens in a while and I'm gonna go ahead and write about all these experiences and then I'll basically archive this one right away but what I think is gonna be fun is using this one for 2023 I'll be able to go through and basically fill this out as the years, year goes on and then at the end of the year I can archive it so I'm really excited about that so anyway that's what this is going to be used for it's so pretty. I love this. I'm so glad I got that. Um, the next one is my Everyday Carry. So this is my B6 Stology. And I mean, if y'all have been here before, you know I've been in a B6 Stology multiple times. I have switched my main planner out. Last year, I actually switched my main planner out to some Hobonichis, but I am back planning those things back into the stologies that I ended up having but this is my stology for this year I did do a flip through of the first little bit of this planner I can link that above 
Um, but this is basically where I do, you know, my monthlies, my weeklies. Like, this is where everything goes. I even have, like, my 12-week meal plan, bread bingo. Um, I have my monthlies in here, weeklies, dailies. This is where everything goes. Um, yeah, that one you'll probably see the most of this upcoming year. So next up is this adorable little thing. This is a Moleskin pocket-sized weekly planner. And um, what I'm gonna do in this, or what I have been doing in this, is, let me flip to 2023. Okay, so here's 2023. These are my yearly goals for my business. And then when I get to 2024 here, there's my quarterly goals. And then I have my weekly goals broken down here in my ideas and goals page. And then basically all I'm doing is keeping track of events for my work or for my business, tasks for my business. On this side, I put my goals. Um, let's see, that's one that I had a lot, like that one I had a lot going. Um, so yeah, that's what this is going to be used for, is going to be keeping track of my goals mostly, not necessarily my tasks. My tasks will be migrated maybe back here. Those get put into my B6 Sology because I use that the most. This is mostly for keeping track of my goals and making sure I am progressing because I do have yearly and quarterly goals and then I have broken those down into weekly goals for the entire year. Um, I think I'm actually going to have to kind of redo those goals because of some things that I am going to potentially be changing with my travel agent business, but um, that's okay. I, at least I have a like a setup that I can go back to when I do have those goals set and then I have a way to track them. So pretty quick video, nothing too complicated, but this is basically, these are my three. These are my three that I'm using right now. Um, I do, like I said, have other planners. I did, I was planning on using the common planner and it just didn't work out, which is why I went back to the B6. Um, and I do have a couple other things I'm, I either have and haven't figured out how I want to use them, or I have a couple of things where I haven't gotten them yet, but I have plans for them. So this is basically it. This is my current lineup at the moment. I don't know, I don't know if I want to call this a uh, 2023 lineup. I think I want to call this my updated lineup because we all know this stuff changes so quickly. So <laughs> as soon as I say this is my set 2023 lineup, I'm gonna completely change it all and I don't wanna jinx myself like that. So we're just gonna leave it as, this is my current updated planner lineup. <laughs> if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. As always, thank you so much for being here. I always greatly appreciate it and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, okay, I know I just ended my video, but literally I ended my video, opened my office door, and this was sitting outside my door because my husband went and got the mail. So this just got delivered today. It was actually supposed to get delivered tomorrow, so I'm surprised. This is a Leuchtturm 1917 five-year memory book. I love that it's like this, it, they call it Nordic Blue, and it's some lines a day here. I like literally threw the packaging off of this, set my camera back up and came back, like came back over here to film this. So it's got this uh, wrap on it, which I'm gonna take off. Okay. Has two bookmarks, looks like. Oh, they're fused together maybe? I don't know. Um, has a elastic to close it. Um, just some extra things in there. So this is a five-year journal, obviously, but you fill in the years that you want. What I didn't like about the, uh, for some reason, what I didn't like about the Hobonichi five-year one or the Midori one or any other ones I found was it either didn't like the design of it, I didn't like the colors they used, and for some reason I didn't like that they were undated. And I don't I don't really know why. It's not like I'm planning on skipping years here, but I, I just liked that this was undated because I don't have to, I don't know. And I also liked the look of it. So this one I think came from the UK, which took a little bit of time to get to me, but it was fine. So this is what it looks like. So it's all pre-set up, unlike the one I made for myself, which is in a A6 uh, Stology that I drew the lines and everything for myself. Um, so it's got, you know, 20, and then you fill in the year here. So 2023, 2024 for January 1st. 
And what I really liked about this the absolute most was it's just these horizontal lines, sections, no grid on the other side. I never understood what to do use the grid for. Like I've tried it and it just didn't, I had nothing to put there. Like what do you do, recap it or extend it? I don't know. I know people use it, but for me it didn't make sense. So what I really liked about this the absolute most was I don't have that wasted grid page. It's just this part. And this is an A5, so it's a little obviously bigger than the A6 um, by quite a bit. So I have more space to write in here. Um, Let's see. This I don't think these were supposed to be fused together, but um, I can always take them apart. Uh, I don't really need two bookmarks, so I don't I don't really know there, but that's okay. So yeah, that's basically that's basically it. It it just is a blank five year journal with no designs on it. The ones like I really like the Midori ones, but they I think it was Midori. I don't remember. There were some ones on Amazon I was looking at that had really interesting designs that weren't quite what I was looking for. I wanted something basic, basic, no extra like um, writing on it, you know, quotes or anything, no extra grid page. I just wanted this. This is exactly what I was looking for. Oh, and this is for like, um, archiving it and then you get the back pocket back here um so yeah what I'm gonna use this for so this is getting added to my lineup today um what I'm gonna use this for is actually for my son so I've gone kind of back and forth on this um I've wanted to have like a journal just for him where I write like long form stuff about him every day and I like the idea of that, but I wouldn't keep up with it. Some days there's just not a whole lot for me to write that we kind of have like meh days or whatever. Um, and so I felt like it just, and I, I wouldn't keep up with it was the big thing. Plus I don't want him to have to keep like a ton, if, if he does want to take these notebooks, I don't want to burden him with 18 years of notebooks. You know what I mean? I, in the case that he does take them, which most likely our children won't want to keep the stuff that we save for them, it's sentimental to us, right? So he might not even want this. But in the case he does, I don't want to burden him with a ton of notebooks. So I really like the idea of getting him this five-year notebook. He's he's actually five years old right now, so this works perfectly. So I'll get another one when he's 10. Um, I am going to do a like free-form Stology journal type thing for pregnancy through five because I didn't get one of these. But this is going to be more just writing about his every day and kind of how he's evolving and changing and things like that. So this is for him and I'm, I think this will be much more easy to keep up with for me. Um, I'm actually debating on getting one of these for myself <laughs> because while I like freeform journaling, sometimes I just don't have anything to say. And so I like the idea of doing this and then on the days I do need more space, I can have a journal for that or something, but I, I like this. so. Yeah, this is gonna get added. So here we go. Here's the full. <laughs> here's the full side view. This is this is everything right now. So anyway, again, <laughs> thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.